Hello, hello. Um, I wanted to get back on with another message. Um, I was shuffling the cards, right? And someone feels um, like they have been left out and forgotten. Okay. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Um, my youngest love stitch, so <laughs> I've actually got something hung up in her room that says that, but I thought it was cute. Okay. So, you had some kind of devil toxic energy around you from the past. You have currently been moving forward from this person. Okay. Uh, and you are coming into your harvest or you know that you will be coming into your harvest soon because you have been planting things, you know, you know, you've been sowing, so you know, you will reap. Okay. Um, yeah, someone's heartbroken, um, because someone has been chased away. Okay. The angels are like making this person leave you alone. Pretty much this person didn't know when to quit wouldn't stop messing with you i guess i don't know this person was obsessive mm, yeah this person wanted to catch the eye of the person that you were interested in or something or that you're with maybe um this person i don't know thought that they could come in between y'all's relationship with this devilish ass energy okay this um the only person they were tempting were themselves um straight into stupidity okay this person um, this person just had a toxic energy okay they just they were devious little bitches these people i don't know yeah, but you've become enlightened to this. You're moving forward. You're not stagnated, whoever you are. Mm-hmm. This energy, however, still misses you, still mourns you, still wants you to come back. They didn't want you to come out of this stagnation, okay? Yeah. They wanted to keep you in hermit mode. They did not want you to become exposed to new people or new options, possibly, or... Uh, they didn't want you and your person uh, to rekindle your love in some way if you're already with someone. Um, but you're getting the Ace of Cups, okay? You're coming into your true love, your real love, your new beginning, okay? That's what you're coming into. And this is going to lead to a happy, fulfilled life. You're going to have um, everything that you would want physically. Okay, you're going to be happy in that aspect of your life. Um, mm -hmm. Someone was trying to bring injustice into your life once again because, God damn it, these people can't stop. They're ridiculous. They're unyielding. And they're just annoying. I mean, I, they... Who has this much time on their hands to care this much about someone is all I'm saying. Like, God, you've got to be really obsessed with a person to care this much, okay? To get in the way of something this much. Um, or you just are so spiteful, one or the other. Okay, so like I was saying, you've moved on from this person. This person wanted to rush in some kind of communication your way, but it was lies and bullshit. Um, so it, it may have been stopped. The communication may have been stopped. Uh, cause like I said earlier, the angels are chasing this person away. Um, yeah, this is completely upside down. This person was watching you with malicious intent. Okay. You see how she's like watching? I mean, yeah. When this is reversed, she was watching you and plotting. Okay. She was watching you and strategizing off your moves. Okay. She knew to watch what you were sowing so that she could, um, predict what you would reap or you know figure out when you would reap it so she could come in and fuck with it this person i feel like has been doing this for a while i don't feel like this is a new thing with this person 
Okay, 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 yeah. Okay, God. Okay, spirits. Um, yeah, it was an unequal give and take with this person because this person was constantly just being envious and wanting to take your shit, okay? If it was someone that did want to be with you, they just wanted what they could take off of you, okay? Whether that be money, whether that be recognition, whether that be um, just you helping them with shit. I mean, whatever they could get off you, that's what this person was in it for. And whatever it was, was very, um, it meant a lot to them, obviously, or they would not have put this much effort into keeping you stagnated, whoever this is. But you haven't, this whole time that they thought that you were stagnated, you were sowing your seeds, okay? Behind the scenes, possibly not even like, you didn't show off when you did good deeds. And that's why you're going to be rewarded publicly with about these good deeds, okay? Um, yeah, this person may have to pay you back monetary-wise, like, if they did an injustice in the legality system, this person will have to pay you back, um, like, court-mandated or whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. This, this person wanted you to be reminiscing in the past but with like rose colored glasses on this person wanted you to see things in a better light than they really possibly were this person wanted to dole out your passion for whatever it is that you whatever it is that makes you happy thank you god whatever it is that makes you happy this person wants to take your um your motivation for it away they don't want you to work on whatever this is. They want you to miss an opportunity, this person. That is fucked up. This person is fucked up. Okay. It could be a king of pentacles in reverse. Um, a water sign or a parental figure. Uh, someone with children or someone that could possibly be married or someone that you are married to. Okay. Uh, this person has ten of swords your ass. This person has had the... They've done the ultimate betrayal. Okay. This person... This person has definitely done, okay, I'd like for you guys to see them with me. Um, this person has definitely done lust spells on you because this person wanted you to see them, not whoever you were interested in or who you were with, okay? This person wanted you to, I don't know, feel like you couldn't resist them, like, <clears throat> Like, it was this flame that you guys just had to put out, you know. Um, I don't know. This person has a big head, whoever this is. They think, well, they must not think highly of themselves if they're having to do magic in order to do this. Or whatever they're doing, manipulation lies, whatever. Um, emotional lies, I don't know. Whatever this person is doing to this other person, uh, they're, they betrayed them, like... Like I said, they've done less spells. They could have possibly done death spells, okay? They could have done um, graveyard magic. They could have went out to a graveyard like a dumbass and got some dirt or something. Uh, they could have disturbed some kind of spirit from somewhere. Um, this is not good. This person really betrayed you in the spirit, and I feel like they did some kind of ritual that, like, you should not have done, okay? Just one of those things that it's like... Mm, probably probably not the best idea to do that. Mm -mm, no. Uh, yeah, because whoever you are, what you've planted, you're going to get a partner for it, okay? Whether this be a person, whether this be the divine, uh, which, you know, God is already with you if you're doing good deeds and everything. If you're helping people out and being a good person, he's already with you. So, um, you know you're partnered with him. Uh, but you could have someone coming in to partner with you or... Just something, just a new beginning of some sort. It'll have some kind of emotional new beginning. Um, yeah, and you'll have some kind of passionate, creative, um, intuitive new beginning as well. Yeah, and you're going to move into this quickly. Whoever you are, you're being led into this. Like, you're, like, it's, the divine is helping to lead you to whatever this is. Yeah, it's a new start, okay? This is the fool. This is um, going out on your karmic cycles, okay? Uh, this is one of your cycles is going, you know, 
to this place with this person. Again, there could be a King of Cups in the background fucking with you guys. I don't know where that resonates. That could be male or female. But it's somebody fucking with you guys. I don't know why they're doing this. They could be a friend. They could be an ex. They could... I don't know. Sometimes, like, it could just be random people that you would never think would be the ones to be doing this shit. So just watch out for anybody. Pretty much, you know. Uh, yeah, because whoever that is... <sighs> Does not want to close a cycle with you, even though this cycle has been closed by the universe. And they are still holding on and um, holding on hope that this is not over. So they are mono, mono, <laughs> emotionally blackmailing you, bitch. These people are emotionally <laughs> blackmailing you, okay? They don't want to close a cycle with you. So they're doing whatever they can to emotionally fuck with you. This asshole gaslighting person. But you're still going to have um, your intuition to guide you through this. Your spiritual gifts are going to guide you through this. You're going to know how to navigate and get away from this person, okay? Yeah, you're going to figure out how to close this wheel that they're trying to hold up. You're, they can't keep doing this, okay? The divine has literally stepped in on this situation because this person has to stop. And when the divine steps in, this person, man, because they're fucking with an empress. Could be an empress or an emperor. Whoever they're fucking with is divine, is divinely led, is divinely protected. And this person is about to get their ass whooped by God. Okay, pretty much. They're about to get chastised. Okay, I don't know how he's going to do it. But somebody is going to get chastised if they don't knock this shit off. Okay. <sighs> yeah, because like I said, God is with these people. Yeah. It's God ordained. God has literally led these people to be together. Okay, if they're not together already, if they're not already married, God is leading these people to be together. Yeah, because these people have been wishing for, like, healing. These people have been praying for healing, okay? And that is what they're getting now. So, these people trying to come in with all this unhealed emotional trauma baggage bullshit is going to have to back the fuck up and leave them alone because they can't handle that right now. Yeah, this person, this person just feels like they've been waiting in vain. They feel like everything they've done to try to get this person to come to them has not worked. But, yeah, there's someone new that's got some kind of offer for you, okay? This past person, you should not be collaborating with, okay? That is the truth. Because this past person is not growing, they're not abundant, they're not coming into anything abundant. They're basically going to drag you down in their karma with them. They're going to have you battling people for them, and that's not your place, okay? Regardless of who this is, if this could be family, if this could be in your community, whoever this is, this person needs to stop. Because you've already won a victory. You're, you're working on yourself. You don't need this right now. You don't need this conflict. You don't need this fighting, this battling. Like, this trying to hold things, like, up, it's... Just because, like, just because you feel like you're a kindred spirit with this person, sometimes kindred spirits need space, okay? Sometimes they need time apart. So coming in with all this emotional bullshit is not fair to this person. And you know it's not fair to this person. You know you're being uh, bossy and you're, you're being rude and you're just, like, stepping on this person's toes for no fucking reason. And you're just doing it because you're angry at yourself for being so codependent on another person. Stop being codependent on this person and focus on yourself. You wouldn't feel this way if you'd stop doing this. Yeah, close the cycle with this person about this uh, emotional neediness. Because if you don't stop, this person really isn't going to be... Like, you've already ten of swords them, bitch. Leave them alone. If, if you know in your heart that you've done something fucked up to this person, leave them alone. I don't give a damn who it is. I don't care how bad you miss them and how much you sit out and wait for them and mourn for them. Get over it and leave them alone. You fucked with them enough. This will's going to be closed out in whatever way God has to do it. Divine intervention is going to step in because this person is manifesting and you're getting in the way. You're getting in the way of this person's power. You're going to get a blowback, okay? You're, you're literally going to get a blowback from this person's manifestation abilities. And it's going to give you karma. It's going to fuck you up. And this person is going to come into union with who they're meant to come into. And you are not going to be a part of it. I mean, at all. If this person gets married, you will not be there. 
Because you know what you've done. So like I said, back the fuck up and leave them alone. Yeah, you can cry all you want. But it really doesn't fucking matter. Because God's going to make you leave them alone. It doesn't matter how many times you come to them crying. It's just it's annoying. Learn how to be by yourself. You don't know how to be by yourself. That's a problem. Yeah, like I said, God is going to guide you through this injustice that this person has been putting you through. Whether that be um, emotionally, physically, legally, whatever. This person has just been trying to fight some competition in their head with you. Like, this person wanted to be wanted more than you, okay? Whether they were competing for someone or whether they were competing for something. This person wanted to seem like they were the better option. But you were an emperor, and you were a celebrated person, and you are coming into your fucking bitch. You're coming into your soulmate. You are literally coming into your soulmate. It's happening, and your wheel is spinning straight into it, and you already know this. You already know this is in the future in, of right now. These people don't know what's going to happen. That's why they're so codependent and needy and freaking the fuck out, because they don't know what their karma is going to be. And if they don't stop, whatever it is, it's just going to get worse. Because these people are divinely protected. And God loves these two people a lot, okay? His cup overflows when it comes to them. Like, these people will be very prosperous and abundant together in their in their spiritual union. Which they've... I feel like these two are already spiritually tied to each other, okay? So it's like there's no going back at this point. This wheel is going to go into the unknown that is known by you guys. But other people don't know about this. Yeah, you guys know this is about to be, whoo, about to be your Ten of Pentacles, your wish on a star. You know what this is about to be. Yeah, this, these other people are not happy. They're not happy. Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've lost the battle here. Trying to keep you, you know, back and forth in your head about them. They've, they've been shown for what they are. A codependent person who is unbalanced. Who needs to learn how to come into balance with their self. Yeah, they need to learn how to be guided by God and not man. Or woman or whatever. Yeah, they've got to learn how to enlighten themselves. They're, they're going to have to go into a dark night. They're going to have to. When God rips this person away from this other person, this person's going to have put so many love spells and shit on them, like so many lies and emotional blackmail and manipulation, and they're going to have put so much energy into it that it is going to come back on them, and they're going to be the ones crying in the end, like hard. They're going to go through a um, dark night over this, and those are ser that's, it's, th that's some serious shit spiritually. Some people don't come out of theirs. That's like how serious the dark night really is. So this person needs to stop investing so much in this. They're just going to keep hurting themselves worse. Unless they've got some kind of masochistic like desire to keep competing. Even though they know they're not going to be happy from this. Because they know I'm getting like, okay. I heard this earlier. And I was like, this is a weird phrase. I've never heard it before. And it's not like, where'd this come from? But I was looking at this and I was thinking, dumb as a deer. And I'm like... Where the fuck did that come from? I've never heard that saying. But these people are dumb right now to whatever it is that you're enlightened to. They're not enlightened to it. And that's what makes them... That's what makes them so freaked out is that they can't see. And what they do see coming for them, they know it's, it's bad because they know what they've done in the past is going to have to come back to them. So basically what they see is their bad karma coming back on them. And they... I feel like they're trying to get some of your energy... Some of your good karma. They're trying to suck some of your good karma off of you. So when you're around these people or this person. Um, whether this be like a social outing. Or whether they just come over or whatever they do. Call back your energy every time you're around this person. And you know just cleanse your energy. When you get away from them. Okay. If you have. To, if you absolutely have to be around this person. Okay. Like if this is family or something. Because. I'm kind of picking up that this could be in your family because I got the, um, I got this card. <clears throat> and it's like this person has just been just competing with you. I don't know why. I don't know why in their head they're choosing to do this. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. 
Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Money. That's why. Money, fame, fortune. You know, all the good abundance you're bringing in. They want to steal that from you. Whether you already have that or whether you're on your way to having that. This person sees it. And they want to be the one in the mink coat. And they want to be the one in the fancy little hat. And it's just not going to be them because they didn't earn this abundance. Whether this be physically... You know, or spiritually, they did not earn this. Yeah, you've earned a Ten of Pentacles. Whoever you are, you have literally earned a Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> not everyone comes into their Ten of Pentacles. This is a big deal. Like, this is a big deal, okay? I don't know. It's like, to me, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups is like, like the ultimate, like that that's what you want you want those two to come out in your spread so the fact that you have this shows me that this whatever you're heading to is going to bring in a lot of abundance in whatever way it is it's going to make you more abundant make you happier make you feel more more like fulfilled you know uh easier easier burdens i don't know <sighs> Yeah, some of you, no, I'm not going to get into that. There's some people that like to watch and hate on shit. But yeah, whoever you are, uh, you're going into your Ten of Pentacles. You know exactly the way. Your spirit knows the way. Uh, your spirit knows the truth. So your spirit is going to help you win, okay? Uh, whoever this past person is, like I said, they better get unstuck, get out of their codependent energy because... The angels are literally chasing this person away. If they, they're just going to go through hard shit until they stop pretty much. Like God's just going to let them keep hitting roadblocks and bad shit until they finally learn, like leave this person alone. Like the angels like are going to be like in this person's ear, like leave them alone. And this person knows this, but like I said, they're, they're so filled with greed and envy and lust and hatred and all the bad shit that they don't even recognize that they are on them like this. They're not going to recognize it until something serious happens and they're really like on their knees. So it's like, yeah, they're really going to be reminiscing on what they have now because something's, they're going to lose something if they don't stop, whether that be they're going to start losing physical shit if they don't stop. The divine is going to start warning them by taking shit from them. <sighs> yeah, this could be involving a car. They may need to get their tire changed or something. Or their car may mess up. I don't know. They're definitely going to be juggling finances, okay? Um, whoever this woman is probably has children, okay? So... They're going to have to prioritize their children right now over themselves. They're going to have to focus on the money for them. Um, because, like I said, this mother right here won't fucking stop. If she would stop, they'd have more fucking shit. The divine would bless them with more finances, more things. Their husband might actually get a raise for once. If they knock, like, if they would just knock this shit off. They would have a better fucking life. Their husband would have a better life if they have a husband or whoever they're with or their family or just they'd be more in control if they would stop trying to fuck with another person's life. Like this person. Yeah, they're doing something. They're doing something involving paperwork when it comes to money. There's something about paperwork and money or they're, they're plotting something about money. This is about greed. Greed. Yeah. Yeah, you... These people have had you all in your head. Okay? But that has started to come back on this person. This person feels mentally ill right now. This person knows that they're not balanced, that there's something going on, and this person needs to realize it's all of that manipulation and spell work and shit that they was putting out. That's why they're imbalanced. And that is exactly why they're imbalanced. Mm-hmm. Judgment's been called that you need to get away from this person. You're not listening to this judgment. Yeah, so there's going to be an ending to something or another in your life. I don't know. 
Like I said, your car might mess up. I'm not sure. Or, I don't know. You're just, you're going to lose finances somehow if you don't stop. Warning to this person. I try to help people, but they don't listen. You know, that aggravates me. Yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse. This witch, okay, there's someone doing black magic or they're dabbling in uh, divination and they don't know what they're doing or they're invoking spirits that they don't know or these. this is when people who don't have divine ancestors backing them up go to shit like this. You have to know that you know that you are in divine connection with your ancestors, that you know that the angels are with you and you know they've got your back. You get signs, you get synchronicities. They literally will speak to you in different ways. Like, it's not a questionable thing. You know when you're tapped in, okay? This person is not tapped in like that. This person is just dabbling in it and, and they're not spiritually at the point where they can do this, okay? Uh, so they're doing shit that they don't understand, okay? They're doing... They're either reading divination or they're reading a cult or they're coming into their like spells or something and they do not know what they're doing. Okay. And this person, like I said, needs to stop. Okay. <sighs> yeah, because there's been a truth that something needs to come to a rest. Okay. Something needs to stop here. It's, it's like... <sighs> It's like the truth, the truth of this, you see whoever you are, you, whoever this queen of uh, wands in reverse is, the one that's dabbling in this shit that shouldn't be, you know, you have seen, you have been told that you need to stop this, whatever you're doing, and you're not, and that's a problem with the divine, that is a problem. Yeah. What are you going to tell God when he's like, look at all the shit that you pulled on this person. Look at all the witchcraft that you've done on this person. Look at all the, the tapping into their energy and this divination when you knew that this person had not allowed you to do that. Um, all because you missed this person. Do you think God is just going to be like, yeah, okay, that's fine. No, no. He's not going to care what your reason for this is. That you missed them, that you wanted to talk to them and they wouldn't talk to you. Whatever your reason was, you had no right tapping into this person's shit and fucking in their energy. You had no right. If energy does not come to you in the spread that you're laying out, you are not allowed to go into that energy. You do not call upon somebody's fucking energy to tap into it when that's not... When that person hasn't given you their permission, that's fucked up in the spiritual world. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If it doesn't come through your fucking cards, through that through that way in the energy, don't tap into them. Unless you're sitting down doing a one-on-one -on -one personal read for someone who is sitting there giving you, you know, their permission, however that may be, whether that be online or whether that be in person, you need permission of some sort, okay? Like, even if it's something like what I'm doing right now, where the person doesn't physically give me their permission. Their energy is giving me their permission. And if their energy isn't giving me their permission, the divine is giving me their energy to read. Because he knows that I need to for either my own protection or for the person I'm reading for protection. That's how that works. So if you're tapping in to someone's energy without their permission or without God's permission, you are committing a spiritual violation and you will receive karma for that. And you know that. You know that there's an end coming. You know that you have done the final fucking nail in the coffin on this one. You know you have. So leave the person alone. Stop watching them. Stop caring about them because they want to put this to an end. They're tired of the fucking betrayals behind their back. They're tired of the bullshit. They're tired of you running around talking about them they're tired of it give it a rest because you know that's the truth you know that's what you're supposed to do this person's coming into their blessing this blessing is going to be what this person this other one has been trying to steal this entire time it's going to be this whatever this is however this comes in this is what they're trying to steal but they will not because it is your spiritual inheritance not theirs Yeah. Communication will be stopped between you two. 
however it has to be, okay? Or it will not be as frequent. This person will learn to stay in their lane. I don't know. Someone may put someone in their place. Yeah, because you're fucking with a magician, okay? You're fucking with someone who can transmute energies, who knows what they're doing. You don't stand a chance against this person, so you need to give it up. Yeah, they've been trying to stop something or someone from coming into you. They've been trying to put it to a halt and stop it completely. Okay, because once the fucking again, they're money hungry. They're money hungry. They're clout hungry. They're whatever hungry. They're abundance hungry. These people are fucking annoying. And they're going to jeopardize their family or their marriage over this. Over this bullshit. Because something's going to come out in regards to their marriage or their family life. Some kind of injustice that was done. And it's going to end their family life or their marriage. Yeah. They may have to move. They may lose a, a house if they don't stop or a place to live. Mm, yeah, because they're not paying on time or something. I don't know. Yeah, they're fearing this message that something is going to happen. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. But they're fearing it. They're fearing that a king of pentacles is coming in, okay? They're fearing that someone abundant is going to come into your life. So they're being an emotionally manipulative, backstabbing individual. And they are strategizing behind your back and talking mad shit. This person has no filter on their mouth and they don't realize the angels hear, the angels literally hear every word they're saying. They record everything that they're saying. This person... It's going to have to pay for this shit. Like, you you can't act this way and get away with it. Like, you can't. Yeah. There's going to be some kind of passion that this person has in their life that they want to move forward to. That is going to be like, nope. God's going to be like, mm -mm. You're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. You're not getting any fame. You're not getting any fortune. You're not getting any clout. You're not getting any recognition. You're not getting any messages. You're not getting any development. You are getting absolutely nothing. Because you were a devious, plotting person. I'm not going to lower myself to call them anything other than that, okay? Even though I would like to. Yeah. The angels have put a stop to this. Mm -hmm. And you've manifested that this stop. You may have been praying that God get this person away from you. Tower. This is going to be a tower to this person. But it's going to be a tower they face on their own. Yeah, they're not going to have someone to help them in this conflict, this mental conflict. They're going to figure it out the, by their self, on their own. Mourning this person by their self, on their own. Yeah, again, you are a magician. They can't, they can't come. They can't come. Okay. Whether you never see this person again, whether you completely cut this person out of your life, or whether this be someone that you sometimes have to be around, they can't come with you, okay? So they can hang it up, they can put their suitcase back in their closet, whatever the fuck, they're not coming with you. If anything, they could either something fuck up on their vehicle, or something fuck up with their household. Or just their money's going to be off. I don't know. God's going to start taking things away physically now. Because he's, he keeps warning this person. They're not listening. So it's like. It's like. I don't know. Whoever it is. They're not being celebrated. They're not on a public platform. It's not like. Because this was reversed when I had it down here. They're not being watched. People don't know this person. It's not like this person, like, even, I don't understand why this person even has these ideas in their heads, these dreams, because they've done nothing to deserve it, and they're not doing anything to have it. Like, it's not a question of earning it at this point. It's a question of, even though they haven't earned it, but it's a question of, like, do you even have what you need for this? Like, do you even know what you're doing? Are you even ranked high enough to be in this position? Like, 
do argue because if you're not why what the hell is this even about why are you why are you trying to scare people what is this why like why it's just it makes no sense but okay yeah so start writing a note of apology if you're gonna continue talking to people even though clearly they don't want you to talk to them this person's gonna reach out to you This person's going to reach out to you. Well, a couple people are going to reach out to you. One of them's going to be money hungry. One of them's going to be emotionally manipulative. And the other one is going to be a surprise. One will be a surprise that you've been waiting on. Okay. Well, all right. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this read. Um... I don't know, man. I don't know why it's like people just, they latch on to certain people and it's like they just can't shake them. They can't get them to go, they, they can't get their own personal space. And it's like, what, what is that about, man? Why? Why are you fucking with people that way? That shit's not cool. And you're going to get your karma for it. So like, is it worth it? Let me know. Let my viewers know. Put it in the comments. Is it worth it in the end? When whatever the fuck has to happen, happens, let us know, okay? But all right, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I'll be back on later with another read, okay? Love you, bye.